Viva Mexico, Peron. <laughs> Oh, Ode, over here. Oh, what's up, man? How you what's doing, up? Man? I'm good. How are you doing? I am fantastic. I'm not, but we're not about. To, I'm not about to fight inside the, the Las Vegas sphere. So I uh, guess, uh, what are the emotions of this fight week? Because I think when they announced this lineup, we expected a lot of yeah. names on this main card. Maybe a lot of people didn't expect to see your name on the main card in the sphere. So I guess, what are the emotions now that we're only a couple of days away? You know, everyone's been asking me that. What are the emotions? And I'm just like, there, there really isn't none, honestly. Uh, <sighs> This is my 10th fight in the octagon. I fought on some amazing cards. You know, Madison Square Garden, Usman Covington. I fought on Cowboy Cerrone versus McGregor. You know, I've, I've fought in Houston. I fought on some great cards. UFC has blessed me with some great opportunities. So I'm so, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty used to this um, personally. So in that way, there's no emotions there. But it almost feels like, um, a high school experience where you get invited to the cool party and you're kind of the nerd and you show up and people are like, what's he doing here? <laughs> you know? Well, I was kind of, kind, of, kind of ask this later on, but you, you mentioned that you're kind of UFC vet at this point. You've been mm -hmm. on these big cards, but this is uncharted territory this yeah. year. So like you fought in, in arenas mm -hmm. before. So I guess what's, how does this fight week feel different from like that Connor card, that MSG card? Because like not even us, like they're gonna play movies before your fights. Yeah, I won't really be focusing on that. The only sad part is um, I won't really get a chance to experience it, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not really one of those fighters that kind of, you know, take in the moment. I'm just focused on my opponent, you know. Um, but with that being said, I'm I'm super, this, this card is, ex I, I can't even put into words, man. Like where else, can you do something like this? We're having a fight inside of a sphere with a bunch of TV screens, almost like some avatar stuff. I don't even know how, how this can be compared. I'm, I'm just, uh, the, the word I've been saying all week, the word I've been using is gratitude. You know, I'm just grateful to be a part of this, to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, I'm able to, you know, have this, this opportunity, you know, as a boy walking the streets of Kingston, Jamaica, to fighting in Las Vegas at the Sphere, I never would have thought this was a, a possibility of mine. You know, I remember, like I said, just roaming the streets barefoot with no shoes at one point in my life. So just c being here now is, is spectacular. Well, kind of go off of that. I think you posted something on Instagram mm -hmm. uh, not too long ago. It was like the price of like that looks amazing versus mm -hmm. the price of what amazing actually is. What, are you, what exactly did you mean by that? So, you know, back in high school, I used to watch UFC and I used to, th I used to think, man, that looks incredible. Like, I want to do that. That looks amazing. You know, but no one really prepares you in life um, for what amazing actually looks like. You know what I'm saying? They don't tell you that, yeah, amazing means sometimes, sometimes you're going to be waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning and, and hitting after it when you don't want to. Amazing means, you know, you're going to be dieting on days you don't want to. Amazing means you're going to be putting in, you know, three, four, five, six hours a day training, you know, when you don't want to. Er, um, Eric Thomas always said, Everybody wants to be a lion, right? Everyone has pictures of lions on their profile picture, but no one wants to wake up at four in the morning to hunt, you know? So for me, no one truly understands what amazing is until you have done all the, the minor things to lead up to those moments. And I have, I've done, I've busted my butt off in this sport to get to where I am today, you know? So. I'm, I belong here. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean. And looking at your opponent on Saturday, Lazy Boy, a little bit of a hype, little bit of hype around him. Mm -hmm. um, he made his debut like two, three years after you, but he has more fights, so he's just been incredibly active on the regional scene. Mm -hmm. Did you know, were you aware of him? And what and since then have you watched tape? What do you make of his skill set? No, I to be honest, I didn't even know who he was. I <laughs> I sparred him actually at Extreme about three weeks before we got announced to fight, and you know. Uh, as a professional, I messaged him and I was like, hey man, I just got a, you know, I got a call that, you know, um, they want me to fight you and I'm sure you got the same call as well. I was like, what do you, what do you think? You know, do you want to take it? I, you know, whatever you decide, I respect. And he's like, I think it'd be a great opportunity for the both of us. And I was like, 
let's do it. Thank you. You know, I got nothing but love and respect for Lazy Boy, to be honest, man. Uh, he's he's a cool dude. I like him, actually. You know, I think I've actually traded messages with him to come train with me before we got announced to fight. So, like I said, I got nothing but love and respect. But don't get me wrong. I am the Jamaican sensation. And yeah, done no otago. Anytime you see me in the octagon, you already know, man. I'm, I'm one of the best strikers in the flyweight division. Um, you know, look at my resume. My resume speaks for itself. All the, all the guys that I fought speaks for itself. Asu Mabayev, you know, Charles Johnson, Manil Cobb, CJ Vergara, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, my, I got everybody that I fought has, has been um, no short of a badass. So this is a good test for him. I haven't really seen a fighter that he fought that I was like, oh, he beat this guy. He's pretty good. In fact, he lost to a guy that I knocked out in, what, 29 seconds? So I'm like, uh, I, I, I'm not really impressed with anything that he, he does because I know I, Ode Osborne, am a striking machine. So come on. you take anything away from that sparring session you had with him? Nah. Um, it's sparring at the end of the day. And, you know, with, with uh, gym etiquette goes, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to talk about our sparring session private. Uh, that's, that's between him and, him and myself. Just last one. Uh, can I get your thoughts on the main event between Sean and Marab? Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't even know. That, you know, that's one of those fights that honestly – can go either way. If Marab takes Sean down over and over and over and over again, then it's going to be a long night for Sugar. But if Mar but that means Sugar has five rounds to try to knock him out, and he's super super accurate, you know. So I've I have not been in Marab's camps, but I'm sure he's preparing for um, those exchanges. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I have no idea. That fight can go either way. I think it's just whoever shows up the best that night. Because Marab always shows up and Sean always shows up, man. One thing with Sean O'Malley, that boy shows up. He comes to, man, he comes to show out every time. Oh, they're right here. Where am I at? Where are you at? Straight up. About 1 o'clock. Oh, I see you. Okay. Oh, the 1 o'clock. <laughs> um, uh, oh, they, uh... Obviously, a lot of the celebration around, you know, Latin America, Mexican mm -hmm. Independence Day. Do you feel like when you get out there in the cage that you're going to feel like you're in enemy territory? You're in the opponent's home country kind of feel? I won't. I'm not. Nah, I won't feel it. I, I am going to be in enemy territory. It's crazy. I'm about to be in enemy territory fighting in my own house. Ain't that some some ish <laughs> that's like you going home and some and some random people cooking in your stove like yo why, what y'all doing in my stove <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna be in enemy territory for real like but you know i welcome it you know i'm gonna be repping my jamaican flag and you know big up to my jamaican kind of people them you don't know it's like already yeah You've also become rather prolific with your podcast and your clips that have been going out there. I'm wondering, how have you improved as a fighter or just with your understanding of the fight game, having these more in-depth conversations publicly on your show? Well, I think as a fighter, man, um, you know, it's the average fighter fights probably two or three times in the UFC and then they get released and then they have nothing to show for it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to use what I'm good at. I'm really gifted on the mic. Like you give me a mic and you know, I'll, 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 I'll that's just who I am. Uh, I'm a personable person. I love to talk. And so I try to use what I'm good at and uh, I try to just, I don't know, be myself, I guess. But when it comes to, um, everything that comes with being a fighter, I think I, I've, <laughs> it's interesting because I feel like I've grown up in the UFC, meaning a lot of fighters has had, what, five or ten fights outside the UFC. Um, I probably, I didn't have a lot of amateur fights, turned pro, got signed really early, and so I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm actually a slow grower, learner, mature, as my mom says. So yeah, um, I now am the complete package that I want to be. Thank you. Thank you. Ode, over here. 
Where are we at? <laughs> to your right. Ah, I see you. We know a lot of guys and girls have shouted out trying to get on this car. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not everyone could get on it. You did. And uh, in your case, you're one of those guys that we see at these athlete appearances, meet and greets, always interacting mm -hmm. with the fans. Like you said, you're a personable person. Do you think your good relationship with the company in terms of that helped you get that spot on the car today or this weekend? It's possible, you know, because I'm a martial artist in the octagon and outside the octagon. And the UFC, you know, you have to represent the company well, you know, and I don't, I don't fake it. That's who I am. You know, I work with Las Vegas Metro Police and we go and do a lot of community outreach programs with the kids. I speak at the schools probably here in Vegas two times a week, not because you know, I want to have cameras on me. I don't, in fact, I don't even bring cameras. I do this by myself. No one even records it. I go in there and I, I run my own program. So yeah, maybe that has to do with it, but also I'm personable. I'm an exciting fighter. I think more so I am, I'm, I'm an exciting fighter. So that makes the UFC go, you know what? Let's put Ode Osborne on this card because the fans love an Ode Osborne fight. Come on, I'm no shy of being boring, you know. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. And uh, I know you mentioned your take on your emotions going into the spectacle, but mm -hmm. we see all these people from all over the world just get hyped for the sphere alone, given how it, the importance is garnered all over the world. Do you think you being here in Las Vegas, I'm sure you have drove by it a couple of times on a daily basis. Do you think that makes you even more excited than those people? I don't know if Las Vegas has anything to do with it, honestly. I'm a very spiritual person, so for me, it's, it's all God and nothing else, you know what I mean? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, uh, it, it, for me personally, uh, man, it's, it's just growth, you know what I'm saying? I think every walk is different. Every time you walk out into the cage, sometimes you walk out into the cage and you're going through you know, trials and tribulations in your life. Other times, everything is going good. And so every walk is different. I think now I'm at, my walk now is I'm calm and stoic. And um, I don't need to really be excited, you know what I'm saying? Or play excited. I know what I'm, what I'm going to bring to the table already, you know. So it's just one of those things, man. I know who I am. Thank you.